Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, July 29th, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms chapter 104, reading from verse 1 to 9. And it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretched out the heavens like a curtain? Who laid the beam of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angels' spirit, his ministers, a great flaming fire? Who laid the foundation of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they flee. At the voice of thy thunder they hasten away. They grow up by the mountains. They go down by the valley unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. Amen. Like the servant of the Lord this morning, I will say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, because He is very great, and He is clothed with power and majesty. When you look at creation and you observe His creative power, it clear, it's clear to us that God is all-powerful. No, it states that he covered himself with light like a garment. So he is so bright that his brightness, it appears like a garment, like clothes. And remember when Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden, they did not have on any physical clothes. But the Bible says they were naked and they were not aware that they were naked until they, they sinned. So the righteousness of Christ is so pure that it, it is able to become a covering even in the physical sense. Uh -huh. No, it says that he laid the beams of his chambers in the waters and he make it the cloud his chariot. God, he rides the cloud like you would ride in a car. Mm -hmm. He's able to walk on water and he, he, he travel up on the wind. So he has total control over all of these elements. When you think about even the foundation of this earth itself, it is so complex. It is so refined and everything operate as they are supposed to especially before sin came into the world because when you think about the sea do you know that what you see above water in terms of the how the hurt is laid out is the same principle under the water did you know that you have mountains under the water you have caves under the water you have cannon under the water so it is i'm telling you god is amazing and when you think about the ocean oh the thousands of rivers and streams run into the water constantly but somehow the sea never cross its borders it never overflows the only time the ocean overflows is when there is severe weather and even sometimes when there is severe weather, it still don't overflow. That's how good God is. So the question is, if even nature is governed by rules and laws, why do we believe as human beings that we must live free for all and when we cross the boundaries that there should be no consequences? Where do we get that from? Nature teaches us that we must operate within the guideline that we are supposed to. Come on now. 
we are not supposed to step out of line because think about it if the ocean ever decide that it's cross its boundary and we have seen the consequences of that when you have stuff like tsunami when you have major flooding and stuff like that what devastation happen you get where i'm going so god he set things to operate a certain way when you look at the universe when you look at the sky we are just stuck in this one, one galaxy but there are millions more galaxies out there yes and it keeps expanding scientists believe that the universe is expanding but isn't that what the reading saying verse 2 says that he stretched out the heavens like a curtain so it keep expanding so the universe is expanding and scientists just figuring that out but yet still yet still they want to get rid of god or the idea of god they just can't they can't and one thing we must observe is that creation is obedient to the voice of god always we are the one that is stubborn the only part of god creation that refuse to listen to him is us think about it is us and yet we are considered to be the most intelligent of all his creation huh and i'm not talking about the angels now i'm, I'm talking about humanity but yet still we can't seem to make intelligent choices when it comes on to god and even sometimes our lives but nevertheless god has not withdrawn himself from us because he's trying to point us in the right direction and i'm just praying that we will allow him to do so and that we will listen to him even the the sun and the moon you know my wife and i this morning we were talking about oh the sun wasn't shining because outside look a little cloudy and we were saying that the sun is not out but then i responded to her and was saying that well the sun is actually out there's not a time in history where the sun has never shined that would make god word null and void the sun is always always shining but what happened is that because of the clouds that cover the sun and the thickness of that cloud we are not able to see the light from the sun that's another amazing thing so we often say the sun isn't shining but the sun is actually shining it's just that we're not able to see the sunlight because of the thickness of the cloud the moon come out every night so god has set things to operate in that way and in that order the stars they are always shining morning noon and night but it's just because of the brightness of the sky we are not able to see the stars in the daytime isn't that amazing so we will say the stars gone in until night come the star not gone no way they are the very place they were yeah, when you saw them in the night but that's how great god is and yet still you want to tell me that you believe that this world just came out of a big bang come on now if you should set off an explosion do you believe that anything is gonna fall into any specific order it can't it will not you look at when you when you look at movies are you know even when you watch the news and you see explosion and whatever things don't fall in any particular order it's scattered all over the place and so it is impossible to say that this world came through that process this world has proven that it came about through an intelligent process an intelligent being far capable of what we can comprehend and understand and that is god so may we this morning take god at his word and may we listen to the voice of the holy spirit as we continue to walk in accordance with his will and in his favor god bless you and amen